welcome back everyone, and as I said, uh, we will be starting a Germany campaign today, and that looks just about right. Um, so yeah, um, that looks good. I'm gonna try to take over the world as Germany, and uh, in the meanwhile, take over the world as Britain too. So, loyal factions... Sure. Okay. So I'm gonna take this a little a little different approach. Okay. So they're gonna be stubborn about that. Okay. Well that's perfectly fine. Um farmer stalls. Uh, do, 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 do field cannons. We don't want those. Dresden. Okay, where can we really recruit? Re recruit. Not there. There. Looks like we still have to build up most of our empire. Yes. Right. All right. So let's get this started then. All right, an agent, that's great. We will research. Okay, well, you guys will research. Okay, we'll put them both on military. Both on military, seems about right. Oops, we'll just, for now, we'll recruit a bunch of uh, rifle infantry. Uh, we'll Okay, we'll get him next turn. Um, okay, peace, at peace, at peace. Peace, at war with Belgium, okay. War with France, war with Great Britain, they won't do much, I don't think. Um, Russia might. But that's, uh, we'll have to wait and see for that. Trade agreement, okay. Good. Maybe you'd like to join us then, possibly. Uh, where is Spain? Where can it's Spain? No, okay. Well, that's fine. Trade. Trade is good. Good, good, good. Okay, that's okay. We'll give you time to think about it. Yes, you, Superior General, all oh, that cool, good stuff. Uh, no. Nope. What we really need is some place to recruit some units um, kind of like a recruitment base uh, we might not have any battles in the first episode I'm sorry about that uh, but that's just the way it is These things can take a little bit of uh, a while to get started and you know, get in the mood and then then it, it all comes good it all becomes very good Yes. See, these are the ones we want. The Haugitsa. Those are going to take us quite a time, quite a little while to uh, to do. Yes. Farms. Farms are good. Yes. Do you. No. I'm not going to do that. Yes. Logging camps. Always good. So we need to start, you know. Actually, you know what? We will have a little battle. Just for funsies. Just to get used to uh, playing as Germans. Get a little practice in there. 
Leon Holscher versus Roland Putnam. Okay. Let's see how, uh, how this plays out. You're in a fine position. Uh, maybe if I put you here, it'll be better. Yes, I think so. Methinks, yes. Oh, I'm really gonna fire on my own units from this. Or are the, these the howitzers? I can't tell. I don't think they are. Oh, they seem to be. Oh yeah, they are. Right. Cool. Here are the Belgians. Civic Guard. Then the Germans here. Deutsche Reich, 4th Regiment of Infantry. And Landwehr, which is basically militia. Don't shoot at our own men. Go. Don't retreat. There we go. Yikes. Look at the Belgians here, fighting bravely to the last man. Well, not these guys, but... Oh, never mind, nobody's fighting for the last man. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that was expected, obviously. But, uh, we took a little, a little bit more casualties. I gotta get used to playing as the Germans now. Hope you'll understand. Just a little transition. British to Germans. Get used to it though. Um, good. Small barracks. Yes. Okay. Minus one in happiness. Eh, no, I don't want to. Don't want to be doing that right now. Happiness is key. Yes. The rest looks, looks uh, up to snuff. Sending our spy to uh, Russia. Check with those barbarians. <laughs> um, that's field cannons. Light infantry. Oh, well, maybe we'll take like a unit of that. Maybe we'll need a unit of our cavalry. And then when we can get the uh, the the good cannons, we will get those. Is this, yes, this does enable the replenishment and recruitment of those, the ones we want. So we should get down that as soon as possible. Should just recruit a couple of, uh, couple of things here and there. Uh, looking good.
Agent recruited. Sir, you shall be studying in the university. Oh, we don't want to be studying that. We don't want to be studying that. Rifle scopes. That's a good idea. Hmm. Still no? Uh, let's look at the charts. Prestige. We are, well, higher than everyone but Italy, which is a bit weird. Enlightenment. Military. We are the strongest military power. Which is obvious. Hopefully we'll become the strongest, econ we are the strongest economical power, hopefully. Uh, good. Okay. Oh wow. They're making quite an army up there. Those Germans. Ah, Russians. Gotta get used to that. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit confused as to which side we should attack first. Meanwhile, we'll I'll start recruiting. Uh, okay. Let's get that. Get our economy up and going. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's take a fleet here. Maybe. Raid some of those supplies. Yes, good. How much would that bring? Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, from trade route rating 267. You know what? That's not, that's not, not bad. Okay, good. Um... Nothing else. Nothing else. Maybe we should send our spy up to uh, Latvia. I think that would be a wise idea. Right. right. Stay with that army. Wait, no. <laughs> just just want to see what that would do. As soon as we can, we'll want to take this army out of here. Um, upgrade this. Can't do that yet. That's okay. Dutch are doing okay. Nope. 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 Okay. Austria is not huge. If they, you know, if they took uh, the Serbians and stuff, and possibly the Greeks too, maybe they'd be better off helping me and stuff. Italians are powerful too. Let's check the graph again. Actually, wow, Italy and Great Britain have both surpassed me. Not in terms of military power, but naval, apparently. Apparently, Italy has a uh, large navy. Okay. Well, don't know what to do about that. But you know what? As soon as we can, we'll probably try an ally with them anyways, so. Minus two happiness for lower classes. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that. No, you know what? No, I, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea, actually. I would, but nah. All right, here's the problem, though. <laughs> These guys are all gonna finish recruiting before the cannons do. Have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, that's good. That looks good. 
Everything looks nice and tidy. Managing an empire is no easy task. <laughs> Um, and yeah, as, as someone suggested, um, you know, for the Russian campaign, but we'll do this for the, for the German campaign as well, uh, we should attack in the summers and not in the, um, oh, right, and not in the winters. So we shall keep an eye on the weather and make sure we don't do any anything stupid. Stupid. Okay. Looking good. I don't know what you're still in here. Got a light cruiser. You can be in there too. Good. We're just taking supplies by the hunt by the dozen. Um. Uh oh. Uh, where did that army go? Strange. Well, shouldn't think about it too much. Uh, what else can we do? We have a thousand bucks to throw around. Maybe we can get one of those. Sure. All right. Why be at war when you can have peace? Am I right? No. All right. All right. You two. You two. Switch. Good. This army. Uh, okay. Where? What do I want to do? This is a crucial decision at this point. Uh, Should we pay a visit to uh, to Denmark? Maybe to uh, the Netherlands. Well, let's or well, let's let's just send up to Cleve for now, and see what um what happens from then. Uh, who's this? Crown Prince Willem of Prussia. Remember my Prussian campaign? If you guys want to check that out, I finished it entirely. It was actually a really fun campaign, and. Uh, yeah, I won. I won that campaign. It was just regular Napoleon, Darth Darth Mod though, so huge armies. That was actually a really fun campaign. First time I beat the game. Really good experience. You know, if you do guys don't know, this game is Napoleon Total War, and I'm running m the Great War modification version 5.1.4. Um, to get this, you just need to go to um, Mod DB. Oh, we just made peace with them. Actually, that's good. The oh, the rebels. But yes, that's good. Austria is conquering things. Um, but yeah, you can get it mod DB uh, or just Google it. You'll find it. Oh, it's a pretty popular mod. Um, you do need to install 5.1 fully. Then all the patches leading up to 5.1.4. You can't just download 5.1.4 and then expect it to work. Phew. That was quite the speech. <laughs> okay. Um. I think, yeah, I think we're good on that side for now. I think they're actually going to have a little fight with um, the Prussians for now. Okay. No, you don't want to do that? Okay, well, you know what, that's fine. To each their own. To each their own, that's what I say. Well, that's a bit rash, Belgium. That's a bit rash. That's not nice. All right. Well, as you wish. As you wish. Didn't want to do this. Actually, wanted to uh, take over Belgium, then liberate it, and have them be our best friends. But I guess not. 
I guess we have fight on our hands. But I will still liberate them and obviously make them my protectorate. Even though, as the Germans, I'm going to be trying to take over and actually just peacefully occupy as many territories as possible instead of liberating them. Uh, just because it seems like a better idea. Okay, well, I'm just going to come from here. Quickly raise like a thousand men, maybe in defense, which is good. Ooh, bit of lag. Oh. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Seems like they're waiting for us to make a move. Shall we, gentlemen? I can't talk in a British that British accent now, because wouldn't make much sense. That's still the default German voices for Napoleon. Alright, come on guys, quickly occupy that building. It'll be good for morale as well as being a good place to hide. Which reminds me so much of that, you know, it's like a... They, it's like a sped up like old movie from the 80s. Okay. Enough rambling about 80s movies. I don't know if you guys have seen much 80s movies. Many 80s movies. I know I haven't. We've taken a building, sir. Something interesting if you ever want to watch something. Uh, has a firefight started? No, these guys cannot fire yet. I don't know what their range is exactly. Oh, well, that's it. We're just taking pot shots. What a bunch of sharpshooters. These guys, these civilians are ready with their old rifles, maybe their dad's rifle or anything. Anything really to defend the city and the family they love. Even though they know reinforcements uh, for this village. Go, go, go home. There's shots. Uh, reinforcements would just be, you know, somewhere around there. A little bit further. And, uh, would be at their disposal in a, just a turn. Not exactly sure what that is in Napoleon terms. I think that's like a season or something, or maybe maybe less. I forgot already, actually. <laughs> Two turns is a season, or four, uh, I don't know. It changes every single game. Come on, then. Actually, you know what? Get out of this building. I want you to. Go and um, fire as well. You guys don't even have uh, pistols. That's right. Yeah, many of these guys don't have actual firearms. Forgot that. Oof. Flying at the building. <laughs> Pretty much killed no one. Oh, waiting in line. Go downstairs. Oh. 
go the last couple of guys. Anyways. I'm sure if they engage in an actual firefight like these two are, units are doing with this guy, they would be sure to win. Come on, turn around. Do that. Which one? Both of them. Come on. With your invisible. S oh, you have your tiny swords. There's so many of them. So many civilians. All with their pocket knives. Continue the momentum. This is so weird. We're actually winning this. Run! Ooh, not here though. Our men are running, uh oh, they're coming back. Oh no! Come on, are you that tired already? You haven't done anything. Here they are! Oh my, it's quite the battle. Oh, no. Okay, I actually ran out of space there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to record much longer. Wow, sorry about that. We'll be putting the output outcome of this battle in the description if, uh, if uh, this video cuts off. It's taking quite a while. Come on. Stop running. Alright, hang on. We won, because we won because they retreated. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.